Hey guys, what's up? It's Awesome Bully again today with Options Traders, and uh, I wanted to go over a question that someone asked me. Um, so I'm going to read that question first, and I'm not going to use their name because I don't know if they want me to or not. But uh, the question is um, I'm wondering what you and other traders do the night before and in the mornings before open and during pre market. I just want to learn more about people's processes because there's too many times where I think I'm ready to jump into it again and give it a shot, but where do I start? So I basically won't be answering the question where do I start because uh, where do I start is uh, learning everything and then going through an emotional train wreck of losing a little bit of money and then doing okay. Um, but I'm going to start with the process. So um, let me see the first question. Um, start with it. It says, um, what do you do the night before? The night <laughs> before I'm doing homework. Um, so the night before, my personal trade tr trading style is I trade the same stock over and over, the same stocks over and over. So if you're wondering what type of scans I do, I don't do scans because I, I, already, I already know what stock I'm going to look at. If you can see above my head here, these are what I will be looking at for, for, for the day. Why? Because I trade options and what do I need for options? I need to be a big name company. I need to have a lot of open interest and volume. And these, and these are the stocks that have patterns that I like that have enough options volume for me to be able to get in and out quickly. Um, so yeah, these are the stocks I trade. So the night before, what am I doing? I'm not do, doing anything. Yes, I do love the markets. I love everything about the markets. I'm talking about the markets constantly. Uh, like last night, I stayed on a chat for an hour with some people. We were just talking charts and stuff. I love it, but I do not watch futures much. I don't do anything like that because I like to enjoy my day off. I mean, I know you can't see from where you're at because you can just see me. It's a beautiful sunny day outside. I'm going to go play sports. I'm going to go hang out with friends. I'm going to watch YouTube. I'm going to do something. I'm going to enjoy my time. So the night before, I'm not doing anything because I know what stocks I will be looking at in the morning um, as here uh, in my list. So next question is, and in the mornings before open and during pre-market. So what am I doing pre-market? I'm taking a shower and I'm waking up. <laughs> okay, well, first I'm going to say my, my market opens at 8.30. Um, so I wake up about an hour and a half before that. Um, I wake up at 7 uh, Central Standard Time, and um, I usually wake up. I, uh, I read uh, my Bible. Uh, I don't know if y'all care to hear that or not. But then after that, I read a book that I have. I'm, I, I slowly am trying to read through books because uh, I'm constantly learning. The book I'm reading through right now is called One Good Trade. It is by the co-founder of a proprietary trading firm uh, named SMB Cap Capital, and it is so good, so good. I totally recommend it. I might put a link below. I don't know. Um, and then I take a shower, and then blah, 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 blah. So what am I doing? Basically, I'm saying all that to say I don't do much in the morning in pre-market. Why? Because I know what I'm going to, to look at. Now, let's say I get to my screens, my trading platform is up within um, five to 10 minutes before the market opens. Um, and what am I doing? Well, on SPX, I'm doing nothing except making sure my lines go all the way across. Because on Tastyworks, you can't say, you can't right click it and say extend all the way to the right like you can on the Thinkorswim platform. So I just make sure my lines are fully extended and straight. Um, and that's all I'm real, real, really doing. Um, now on F F Facebook and all these other things, uh, you have your pre, your pre-market activity. So if I think I'm going to trade one of them that day, I'll take the pre-market activity and I will see a prevailing trend, trend line that is ha happening pre-market. And that will be, if I want to trade these stocks, my, uh, my decision for the day. So as you can see, we have this huge spike down. You can see I would have had this trend line here because this was pre-market uh, to see this nice little bounce up. Uh, Boeing, let's look at pre-market. So you can see here we have this huge um, push up and then during pre-market it's pushing down. So what, what are we going to expect? We're just going to expect the momentum to continue to push down 
at least for five minutes, uh, which is what it did here. It did for almost an hour or 30 minutes, it, it, it looks like. Uh, Netflix, blah, blah, blah. So basically the same, it depends on what you're trading. Okay, if you're going to trade a penny stock, uh, most of them move during the pre, pre-market time, um, but I'm not worried about that. SPX has no, um, or the S&P 500 index um, has no um, pre-market or after-market activity. So I just need to show up when the market opens. So I'm up here. I am um, five to ten minutes. I open my platform. I uh, I go through all the stocks. I see if there's anything important. I go through the group chat uh, that is linked be below uh, just to see if anybody mentioned anything that I need, that I need to be aware of. But also um, a part of my routine is on Sunday nights what I always do is I always update my trend lines and support and resistance lines, um, as well as I go on forexfactory.com. Uh, uh, yes, I don't trade Forex, but they have a, cal uh, a calendar of all economic events that are happening for the week. So I skim through it and I see if there's anything important, like a Fed chair guy speaking, or um, the CPI report, the Consumer Price Index, something that will affect the SPX. Something, uh, a military guy speaking or the general speaking, something important. Uh, and if there's not, and there's nothing important. I don't real, 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 I don't care. But if I see something important, I'll make a mental note. Hey, on Monday, go back and look at Forex Factory and see what exactly is going on before I trade. So, were there any other things I needed to conclude? Um, pre market. I just want to learn more about people's processes. And too many times I think I'm ready to jump into, okay. <clears throat> so now you learned what I do on a normal day. I just show up at market open and I basically say, let's go. So this morning I saw some consolidation. I'm like, all right, let's see if we can break this consolidation here. And basically that's what I'm doing. I'm doing not, I'm doing nothing special before or after market except updating lines and stuff. Um, because I like to enjoy myself. That's why I do this, so I can quickly trade. I mean, you can go through my recap videos. You'll see that I'll I'll trade for like two minutes and make 12% and be done for the day. That's just my personal style. Um, but of course, I have class a lot, and uh, every time I have class, it's a run it's a running joke in the group that something will will happen, which is what happened here t t today because my luck is amazing. But where do you start? <clears throat> you want to start with a paper trading account. Um, not because it's going to help you, but it will help you get a feel of the market if you don't have a feel of the market yet. In my opinion, feeling the market is the most important thing ever. Um, right here, we were going up into this and someone yelled, power hour, let's go. And someone was like, yeah, we're going to have some great movement. And I was like, I don't know. I don't see anything happening. Why? Because my feeling of the market, I've seen this so many, I've seen this so many, many times. Nothing is going to happen here. Not Nothing huge. Nothing big, just because I knew from my feelings. And look, we had a quick push up, a little, a quick push down. Yes, you could have traded that and made a lot of money. Well, not a lot, but a decent amount of money. But that's so, like, it's zigzag. It's, si it's sideways. We really like these huge movements here. Um, so get a feel of, of the market just by watching it a lot. Uh, make sure you find your edge in the market. If you don't know what your edge is, which means what your strategy, how, how you do it, then watch others develop a strategy. And then uh, also another way is I'll also link this below. One of the great greatest resources is Chat with Traders podcast. They have traders from every market, okay, and they talk about their strategy, their history. I mean, yes, it's going to take a while to go through, but just let's say put like I – this proprietary trading book I'm reading, the people who put in the time and work, it takes them six to eight months to become a profitable trader. And I definitely agree with that. I mean, that's how basically how long it, it took me, but I was putting in the work. So you have to put in the work before you can get into a time when you can just show up and go. Um, but you need to, un you so basically, you need to get a mark a uh, market feeling and you need to understand your own strategy and then you're good. So that is my day trading routine and uh, I hope you all found it useful and especially the person who I ans an an answered your question, please direct message me if it didn't fully satisfy what you were looking for and other than that, please subscribe, please like if you 
want to dislike it, go go ahead. Just please tell me why. All right, y'all have a good one.